everybody and thank you all for tuning into my channel my name is angeline and i am the owner of angelic creations so we are back with another cricut diy project and i will link um where i got the uh svg from i will link her information at the bottom so the first thing that we want to do is we want to go ahead and score our lines i'm going to start off with this top portion here we are going to be creating a what well, I'm going to be using it as a wine caddy, but it's actually a beer caddy once you look it up on her um, account. So I'm going to score all of my lines first. And what I mean by scoring the lines is, let me see if I can show you all. So if you can see this little line right here, and it's a line here and it's a line at the bottom. So you want to go ahead and fold all of those score lines. So I have a total of four, uh, four of these pieces. That one, I'm gonna go ahead and score here. Making sure that our pieces are aligned. Okay, perfect. And now the last scoring that we have to do is score on our side panels. Okay, so now I'm using some hot glue, but I probably should be using some type of like tacky glue or something. But next time I'll use like a different type of glue. So you want to grab two of the inner pieces, which is shaped like a T. And then you want to take your one of your big pieces and then one of your short pieces, okay? So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to place a generous amount of hot glue on this panel here and you want to align it with this uh, crease here okay so i'm going to grab my hot glue gun okay gotta move it a little bit quick and i'm going to align it with the crease at the bottom and on the side Okay, and I'm going to repeat the same thing to this smaller side. So I have my panel, this panel here, place the hot glue there, and then I'm going to place it against this crease and the bottom crease as well. Okay, now once we have both of those connected, we're gonna go ahead and now attach our main piece, I mean our bigger piece, and then we're gonna grab the smaller piece and we're gonna place these two together. I'm gonna go ahead and move this piece out of the way. So we're gonna go ahead and connect them with this little short tab here and place that on top of here, like so. Okay, so I'm going to place a strip of hot glue here. Place this down, making sure that it's even. Okay. All right, everything looks great. Now we want to go ahead and fold over these two pieces, overlapping them. And now we're going to connect this last little small tab here and align it to the other side, making sure that it's flushed like so, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and grab my hot glue again, strip of hot glue there, and okay, and making sure that I align these two sides together, crease to crease. Okay, so once you have completed that step, you can go ahead and just hold down your uh, the side uh, panels, sorry, let me start with the inside. So you're just gonna go ahead and glue these pieces down. And then you're gonna go ahead and glue down the side portion as well. So your man's already glued down, but you can go ahead and glue yours down. And then the next step would just be to glue at the bottom of our box. You can hot glue these pieces down if you want to. I'm just gonna place hot glue on one of the panels. And then I'm gonna close this shit like so. Okay, 
so I just put a line of hot glue there and I'm going to go ahead and close this over making sure that everything aligns properly at the bottom and now we're ready to go on and head to the next step okay so this is what we're looking like so far after you have done that these this is where our wine bottles will be um, placed this is the second piece. What you want to do is repeat the same steps as we did for the first part. Now this time I'm going to show you how I laid down the inner tabs. So as you can see, they're still loose. So what you want to do is go ahead and put your hot glue or whatever glue that you're using. You're going to go ahead and place it on this side here. And you're going to align it with the crease here. Okay. So I'm just going to place a dab of hot glue. I don't need too much hot glue, so... I'm just going to place a dab. I'm just going to let it drip down a little bit as well. Okay, so I'm going to take it and I'm going to align it right in the crease. Then I'm going to hold it down like so. So this is what you should be looking at. Like this. I'm going to go ahead and do the bottom part as well. So I'm going to take it, I'm just going to pull these tabs back a little bit, place a dab of hot glue there, I'm going to flush that to the side over here. Okay. I'm just going to hold that there for a few seconds. I'm going to repeat that to the same side over here. Yep. All right, now we have both of our pieces here. Now I'm going to go ahead and sandwich these two pieces together, making sure that the handle portion is aligned. Okay. And I'm going to place hot glue on one side and then I'll connect them together. Go ahead and grab the handle piece here. Making sure that it aligns. Yep, looks good. Okay, I'm going ahead and place some hot glue here on the sides and around. Strings everywhere. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and cover it up. So once you have placed on your handle, you should have something that looks like this. And now the next step is to go ahead and cover up our bottom. I'm going to use this little um, sheet that I have here. I'm just going to place this at the bottom for extra protection, extra layer. Perfect. I'm going to hit and push it down. All right, perfect. And now your caddy is ready to be used. You can go ahead and place your wine bottles or whatever you choose to place. Them. Okay, so I am really excited at how this came out. I definitely challenged myself with this one. And I'm going to continue to challenge myself with more. I will not forget to tag the person who created this file. And you can also find this in Cricut Design Space if you are a Cricut user. So if you like the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you love the video, make sure you share it with your family and friends. But we do have more videos coming soon. So stay tuned. Bye.